Hello, welcome. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how you are enough. I was reminded of this phrase because I was going through some of my old journals and I had a friend in rehab whose mantra that <laughs> she decided to adopt as her thing that she was just gonna say to herself as she grappled with all of the stuff we were going through in rehab and recovery. Her mantra was, I am enough. I have been thinking about this idea of being good enough or being, I mean, insert the adjective that you're most stressed about, whether it's, am I pretty enough or am I intelligent enough, ambitious enough, good enough, productive enough. I've been thinking about this idea a lot and kind of related to in my last video, which was give yourself permission to rest. I did touch on the idea of productivity and how you are inherently valuable. You might think that you have to create something or produce something or have a certain like job title or earn a certain amount of money to be able to say that you have a productive life or that you are productive or that you're part of a productive society and I don't really like the idea of productivity as a thing. I know people talk about productivity hacks or different tips for productivity and it's good in terms of like helping your workflow, like if I want to do a painting or do some writing and I want to be productive, these tips can be helpful but productivity just as a concept, I think it kind of goes against this idea of you are enough because it's saying that you need to do something more, that unless you're producing something, you're not good enough. And so that's why I tend to stay away from productivity. I mean, it's definitely in line with something that I could create on my channel. Like lots of people who create in like the lifestyle niche, wellness niche, they also talk about productivity a lot. You know, they'll do like a productive vlog or productive day in my life or productivity hacks or tips, like I just said. But I've never felt compelled to do that because I'm like, I don't, if anything, I want to make like an anti-productivity thing because I think it can be a really harmful idea because it carries over into that idea of I'm not good enough or like that as you are now, that you're not valuable or if you're not productive, you're not valuable and it's not true. And so I think productivity is like antithetical to this idea of you are enough because you don't need to buy anything. You don't need to do anything as you are right now, you are enough. And I know it can feel uncomfortable to hear that or to decide if you like my friend want to adopt this as like a little phrase, like a affirmation almost that you want to say to yourself. It can feel uncomfortable <laughs> if you're not used to it because you're like, but instantly you'll be like, I'm not good enough or I'm not productive enough. I don't do enough or I don't read enough, whatever it is, there will be something that instantly kicks in when you say I am enough, you'll be like, no you're not. <laughs> Your inner critic will come in and try and tell you that you're not good enough. And it's not true. <laughs> you are enough. But I guess it just takes some practice and some like detachment, which I have talked about a bit on my channel. Because we all have this idea, or certainly if I say what I think about <laughs> and then maybe you can relate, but I have this idea of me, like the idealized version of me, this perfect version of me that I try and move closer to every day. <laughs> it's the thing of letting the gap between where you are and where you want to be inspire you and not terrify you because there might be so many things you want to change that you feel intimidated by the fact that you are here and you want to be over there. <laughs> and it's, it's good to have this image of what you want to be like because that can inspire you, it can motivate you, it can give you some direction if you're ever in a lull, like either creatively or just like, what am I doing with my life? You can be like, oh, I have this idea of who I want to be. How would this person act now? So she would go for a walk. She would make her bed. She would call a friend because she stays in touch with people and she wants to be involved and wants to care about other people. It can give you direction and inspiration and be something that you can kind of center your actions or your goals around. Cause you're like, I want to be like this in a very like obvious way, we take like a fitness goal, that's a clear one because you're like, I want to be able to run this fast. And so then you have a number of, I want to be able to run under this time. I want to be able to run this far without stopping. And then you can take steps every day or throughout the week, be like, I'm gonna run this much a week or whatever and move towards that goal. So I have this picture of myself, this ideal person, but I think sometimes I can get so caught up in who I want to be, that I forget there are so many parts of me now that are enough or that are something that at one point I was striving towards. We think of it like a spectrum, so if we start off, which way makes most sense to start off for you, if we start off here and then we're moving that way, no the other way, we start off here, <laughs> start off here and this is where you want to be, you might think that you're still at the beginning, but actually 
you are continuously moving. So you're probably like in the middle, but it doesn't feel like that because this bit, your ideal self, so still seems so far away. But there are probably so many parts of you already that are better than, better, see, I don't want to use that kind of language. I think about how I have however many days sober. That is definitely <laughs> my ideal self, <laughs> is that. So that action every day, I am already there. Like, I'm already enough. While it's a goal that I'm gonna, every day that's a goal, <laughs> I'm gonna stay sober. It's also sort of, not that it's already done, it's this weird thing of like having to hold two things, like two truths <laughs> at the same time. I accept myself, I am enough, while also being like, I want to be different or I want to improve this thing or change something. But while you may have that vision of who you want to be, that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you now. Like that person who you want to be when you get there, it probably won't feel like you're there. Like by the time you reach that point and all of the things you're wishing for now happen, there will then be a whole other <laughs> list of things behind that that you never even contemplated when you were at the beginning, if this is making any sense at all. So it's kind of like you're always moving, but you also always need to be grateful for where you are now and be like, oh, I'm enough now. I can change this thing, I want to improve this, I want to get better at running, develop this skill, read this many books. <laughs> but despite all of these things floating around, all of these things I want to achieve, I'm still enough right now. So it's like you can accept yourself and ground yourself in the moment and be like, I am good enough, I am enough, but also hold that idea of this perfect version of yourself. But if you're struggling with taking any of the actions to get to this person, this idealized <laughs> version of you, you can just sit with who you are now and you are enough as you are now. You are enough even if you don't take any steps towards that perfect picture of you. You are enough even if you decide that's something fun to imagine. Oh, imagine if I dyed my hair a different colour or if I bought a whole new wardrobe or if I lived somewhere else. You can imagine all of these things and it doesn't necessarily have to be something that you work towards like a goal and you can then be just like, that's nice, but I am enough now. Like, there are so many different versions of you <laughs> or like different possibilities. If you think even of just like the day you've had today, I can think of so many things that would have made this day a different day. Whether it's I decided to do some yoga. I didn't do that this morning, but that would have probably set me up <laughs> for a different day. There are all of these possibilities, all of these things just in one day that could have been different. And like your life is like that in terms of all of the possibilities and all of the things, the decisions that you have to make or that you can make to make things different. And while it's overwhelming, that's also quite exciting. But even if you think about that, you are still enough now. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to be intimidated by that perfect version of yourself. You don't need to do anything. You are enough. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about this because I've been thinking about it a lot recently. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will leave my video start where you are or stay where you are on the screen because we talk in that video about how you can take steps, take action to achieve the goals you set yourself, maybe take some steps towards that perfect version of yourself. I will also leave my video, you are the one that's making life hard because I hope that can inspire you as well. God bless, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.